and we're seeing such a confluence of technology types in the emerging bio nano sector that's biotechnology and nanotechnology coming together mm -hmm. um, to enable um, new products radical innovation and connections that didn't exist before and some of the kinds of things we're talking about are targeted drug delivery um, we're talking about tissue engineering uh, diagnostics um, uh, and enabling new therapeutics um, uh, is the areas we're looking at. And we think there's much more opportunity uh, for radical innovation and for new companies uh, at the intersection of these two fields. And so as management researchers, we're watching that happen over time. We've looked at all of the nano bio firms, all the firms with both nanotech and biotechnology capabilities in the world, um, at three points in time, uh, 2005, 2008, and 2011, and we are watching those that field, the ecosystem of biotechnology and nanotechnology emerge uh, in terms of the number of firms, the types of areas these firms are engaged in research and product development in, and also we're looking at uh, a major artifact that will show the knowledge diversity and give us ideas about the R&D management strategies of these firms. So the artifact we're looking at is patents and we're looking at the international patent classification as the um, numbers that will show us how diverse um, an individual patent and a patent portfolio of a firm are over time. And so we can see things as to whether they have discrete capabilities in biotechnology versus nanotechnology, if these things are happening in silos, so to speak, or if they're actually integrating those fields of knowledge on a patent by patent basis. And by looking at this, by looking at the knowledge diversity and the management of R&D in this emerging sector of the confluence of technologies, we hope to be able to describe how industry dynamics change over time in this kind of emerging field with a lot of radical innovation. And we also hope to give guidance to small ventures in particular who are trying to commercialize technologies out of research labs, uh, uh, guidance on ways that they can be successful.